today we are going to texturize Marvin's hair. Hey. <laughs> because it's quite a bit uh, uh, tough. You see, I'm touching it. He's saying agile. That means it's painful. Anytime he showers, it's like kind of difficult for him to brush. When it gets softer, he can brush it. But when it's a bit like gone like dry, it's quite really hard, tough. So that's his hair. First of all, I'm going to use the S Kill texturizer. I'm going to put that in for him. This is the reason why I found it difficult growing a natural hair and that's why I have to relax my hair quite a few times on and off. It's kind of a bit really painful. So yeah, I understand what he means by it's painful because I have felt it before. If you have natural hair like, you know, a uh, 4C type of hair, you understand uh, how it is like to be painful. Especially when you touch it, sometimes you try to do anything with it, it just feels like so uncomfortable. Ow. This will help to soften the hair for you. So the plan is to texturize this hair and then uh, when it's dry, kind of cut it for him, shape it up to give him some kind of uh, fresh looking face <laughs> before he goes back to school. Uh, so he's starting, to school. Cry. he's starting school tomorrow. <laughs> I'm going to cry. Why is it that painful? Mm -hmm. All right, um, I'm very gentle. So this side is becoming softer. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. to become very soft so you let it, it just to lose in the to lose in the curls near her that's all I'm trying to do yeah, it's not curls I'm trying yours are coils because they are quite tight okay I love my legs oh sorry these parts all right they okay are very painful I'm trying my best to keep this as gentle as possible as he keeps screaming every time that I use the comb through. I also wanted to use my hand so that he doesn't feel the pain but then the hair is so tight so you can't be like use your hand to do all this process. You needed like a comb so just doing the back very gentle and until the uh, texturizer goes through all. The hair is now soft as you can see it's quite easy to manage and he is not screaming and making faces so i think we are getting there and that is good that is what we want so this is how it's looking now just letting him stay a little bit longer and uh, just get it all off it's definitely soft now mm -hmm. huh mm -hmm. so we're going to wash it off so this is All ready to start cutting and trimming the edges of the hair look at his face when i was editing this video this is the part that made me laugh i kept laughing and laughing <laughs> it's like come on boy <laughs> it's like come on give a little trust to your mom i've been doing this since you were born <laughs> All the time he lived with me, I cut his hair. He's never been to a barbering shop before, except when he was living with my parents. And even I cut my husband's hair. So come on, give me some trust. <laughs> anyway, let's continue. Just cutting the sides of the hair and then going to the back. I just wanted him to look a bit cute and fresh. And you know, there are salons here that they do cut hair, but I'm not sure they do like... Uh, there might be some African uh, shops around but you know they might be more expensive than doing it at home and I know how to you know do hair anyway so why not I even cut my own hair so come on <laughs> anyway so I'm just uh, going through the process slowly and still you know seeing his facial expressions it's like he's not really believing what I'm doing at all <laughs> imagine my teenage son going to school the next day and then the mom took <laughs> clippers to cut his hair and then uh take send him off to school i guess that's what he's thinking about like i'm going to mess his hair all about but no i did not mess his hair about i make him look cute i'm sure i did not that bad not that much a bad haircut i tried my best <laughs> and anyway just getting him all prep and then cute for the day as the process continued his face started changing and changing and i'm sure by the time we finish he'll have some bit of trust in me cutting his hair at his age you know this is the very first time i've seen his face changing when i was cutting his hair all the time i've been cutting i've never seen him change before so you know that means he's growing maturity yeah <laughs> going to school with a messy hair and the girls will be looking at him so i understand that i won't mess your hair up mav He's looking already good. I mean, you know, fresh faced. That is what I want for him to take to school for his first day. You don't want him looking messy and go getting some kind of, uh, you know, demerit and all that. No. 
school appearance is all you know taken seriously in the new school that he's going to so that's why i'm making him look cute before he goes to school see that you see anyway so i tried i tried my best and uh, also you give me some rating on it just about getting done yeah do not go like the way you push it what so according to him i should like give it up a little bit more shape into the side how huh? <laughs> he instructed me to what wanted it so i've done that and almost looking good as he wanted he's not said anything else about it so i think he likes it this is how it looks at the end not too bad from where i started from <laughs> so that's him the front bit there look as if it's a little bit like but i don't know what is wrong the side of you see there inside there of his hair is a bit uh, short anyway so just also getting his clothes ready this is what he's going to wear to his new school it look like someone going to work in an office <laughs> anyway so this is it uh it's like a new trousers new jacket and everything i bought so this is his first day preparing for school and i was showing him what to do and all that he he kind of know how to dress up anyway but you know this is the first time going to a new school so i'm just showing him how to lay up most of the things because he's got quite a lot of things to wear and it's a bit cold so that will help him a lot to you know keep a bit of warm in and back home when you look at his uh, uniforms and things that they wear there it's like nothing like suit and all that so it's a big difference and this is my boy oh mommy tightening and straightening the tie <laughs> smiling anyway so it's looking smart my boy oh no he's almost grown <laughs> he's becoming a big man now no more that baby that i had before so almost done and uh he'll get his suit on and get on the day i couldn't finish when he was going like leaving the house i couldn't film that because it was really quick and i was also finished done like going to the gym and all that so everything was so fast so i just uh made him you know prep himself up and all that i did not do much with him i just told him what to do all done and then uh, i drop him off in school and pick him up after i'll be your boss <laughs> How was your first day at school? Good. You enjoyed it? Mm -hmm. <laughs> These were the photos I took of him when he was going to school and he looked so smart. I was so proud to see him go and uh, also picked him up. Thank you so much for watching today's video and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.